you know, when a man asks a woman or even tells a woman why are you pregnant? Okay, okay, I'm never gonna get into that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna get into that. That shit, I don't know. That shit just came in my head. I don't know. But for today's video, it's basically gonna be about, uh, I guess, like the most 10. 10 most fucked up, shocking things that happen in power. Now, I did wrote down this list, like, a long, long time ago when I when I did this. It was, like, a really long time ago. And I was like, you know what? I, you know, I had some ideas about this. And I might do probably, like, another one in the future. Um, probably maybe about Tariq, maybe. Maybe Kanan. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going we gonna to see. We're going to see. So, uh, starting off of number 10 is Ghost Killing Rolla. Now, I think everybody said this. Other YouTubers who've also covered this said this as well. It's like, if Rola never died, I think Ghost would have been on the right track. I think he would have been on the right track. And I believe that Rola was Ghost's, I guess, moral compass in a way. Because he's, he was family to him. He was like, I guess, maybe like a son to him. Like, I don't know. He was, he was like really like family towards him. But um, if he didn't kill him... Like, I think we would have seen, like, a really different side of things. I think, personally, maybe, I think, I think Ghost probably would have had Rola have the nightclub. I think out of everybody, I think if, you know, the stuff, the stuff that happened with Tariq and, you know, I think if, if he, yeah, I think so. Because think about it, think about this. Even if, let's just say in that scenario, if Ghost would have became governor, even though it wouldn't make any sense, but... Let's just say if he would have became governor, I think he probably would have had Roller had like take over the nightclub. I think so. I think so. But unfortunately, it didn't go down that way because of Kane's manipulation. So I believe that or that deserves to be like number ten. I think so. I think it, it deserves to be like number ten because it was it was fucked up. It was fucked up. But um, moving on, <laughs> number nine would be Kanan. Well, Rock having Kanan almost killed Detective Howard. Now, I did say power. I did say, like, power. But I, what I meant to say was, I guess, the entirety of power. Like, everything in power. Like, power book. Like, the original power, power book to ghosts, full force. Like, I'm, I'm saying everything. I'm saying everything. But I was only taking, like, um, I guess, key moments that actually happened. Key moments. Key moments. So, this would be put on the list as well because, well... Shit, fucking rock <laughs> rock is the fucking devil so it's like she has to be she, i i can't sit there and not have this woman not be involved on this list like you what nah man she gotta be on this list and you know basically having kanan shoot his own father without him knowing that was his father it was just insane to me it was just completely insane and i'm like you know what once when we see what happens and um you know, in the next season, once we see what happens in the next season, it's going to be quite interesting. It's going to be really interesting to see, like, what's going to happen because it's going to be like, yo, like, dude, what you doing, Rock? <laughs> like, what you doing, man? So I think that was completely fucked up because, I mean, think about it. It's like, I, it's been like that, I guess you could say, like, thousands of years. It's been like that since, like, thousands of years where, you know, father killing son, son killing father. It's, you know, it's always been that way, but... It's, it's a really traumatic thing to happen because if sometimes you're either forced to do it or you don't want to do it at all or you're just a sick fuck and you're just like, I'm just going to do it because I want to. So that's that deserves to be number nine on the list. Number eight would be Raina's death. So Raina's death was kind of like another one, too, that kind of like hits home because, you know, we see Raina's ghost in, I guess, Tariq's, I guess, dreams or, or visions that he was having because she, to him, was, like, um, I wouldn't say, like, more compass, but more, like, you know, that was his, you know, flesh and blood, and I guess that, you know, she was she was there for him. She was there for me. He does have, like, like serious regret on his decisions because, well, he was rolling with real, oh, I was going to say Rola, uh, Ray Ray, he was rolling with Ray Ray, Ray Ray was looking for him, She's got in the way of things, and he saw what happened, and, you know, Ray Ray kills her, and I think going forward in Power Book 3, uh, Ghost, 
I mean, I said Power Book 3. <laughs> Sorry. I'm bugging. Power Book 2 Go Season 3. When we see that, I think um, she's still going to, I feel like she's still going to be like a part of his life and a part of his, more of his visions that he's going to be seeing because, I mean, you know, she was the one that was there for him. She was there. So it's like, I think going forward, he's going to like see more of her. And maybe slowly he's going to start to forgive himself. Because I don't know. I feel like all of these visions that Tariq had back in um, Power Book 2, Go Season 2, it was just like, yeah, all of the past sins that he did, but maybe there might be a conclusion towards those visions that he's been having, which I think we probably might see. If not in uh, Season 3, it probably might be 4, maybe 5, right? There might be some sort of conclusion. But her death was completely fucked up because I was like, I think that's what kind of like broke the scale for me in, in the original power because I'm like, so many people ended up dead and I was just like, I wouldn't think anything would have happened to like Ghost's ch uh, children. But then again, you can kind of say it was justified because all the crazy shit Ghost was doing. You wouldn't think that something would have, something close to home would have like happened eventually. Like if it wasn't gonna be Tasha, then maybe Tariq. But no one really thought Reyna. But I, I guess yeah, yeah. No one really thought Reyna. But I mean, it happened anyway, and it was sad. He completely broken Ghost. Now I, I know there was an argument and a funny statement that happened in in, in the Reddit community where it was just like, um, Ghost wasn't you know grieving as much. As when, when Angela died. And I'm like, well, I think I'm going to have to disagree with y'all. Because, I mean, he a father who lost his daughter to some bullshit. I mean, I don't know. I think he's st grief grief is grief. So, I'm like, uh, I don't know what y'all talking about. I don't know what y'all talking about. And hell, even hell, even when they found out about it, he was like, oh, shit, Ray Ray. He went to go kill him. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, um. Yeah, that was that was fucked up. That was that was honestly fucked up, and I believe that deserves to be put on the list. And number seven would be Kanan killing Jukebox. <laughs> now, that too was basically like another one because <laughs> so much murder, <laughs> so much murder. Because I mean. Kanan went to Jukebox after with the whole fight between, you know, him and Ghost and shit like that. And he went over there and he told her everything. He was just like, oh, you know, it's going to be round two up in this bitch. I'm going to get revenge on Ghost. And she's like, all right, all right. And then the plan was, you know, going well, going smoothly. Until she made Kanan reveal what happened. Why he killed Sean. And, and he was basically using him to get back at Ghost. But Kanan was like, shit, like, why are you telling him this? Why the fuck? I had a plan, but he chose, ultimately, he chose Tariq over her. And I'm like, damn. And what we've seen in, like, um, raising Kanan, that, yeah, they they close. They was like, you know, they, re they was really close. But I guess there is going to be something that's going to happen where they will, like, have, like, this serious fight. But it's like, you know, that was his blood. That was his blood. And he was like, fuck this. I'm clipping you. And I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> like, what you mean, man? What you mean? But that deserves, that's that's like another one that's like, damn. Because personally, I still would have liked to see more of what she was doing, right? This, besides the stuff that we see, like, what else, like, she was currently doing in D.C. and this and that. But, I mean, hey. She she uh she had to go. <laughs> she had to go. Number six. Oh, I love this one. Oh, I love this one. Dre burning to death. <laughs> I love this one. Come on, you don't gotta do this, bro. Hey, fuck, come on, come on, hey, hey, hey stop. You put your soul, nigga. Now, don't get me wrong. When I was watching that, I was a little bit disturbed because I was like, um, Spanky and, and Two Bit throwing gasoline on him. And he's like, what, what you mean? Stop. And they like, nah, bitch, you over here snitching and talking all this hot shit. Fuck you. And then they burnt them. And I was like, okay, Dre's part, <laughs> Dre's part. <laughs> he, we all know what he did. We, we all know what he did. It was ba it was gonna happen anyway. If it wasn't gonna be Tommy, Ghost, hell, even Tariq, 
that was eventually going to get him, something was going to something was going to happen to him. Something was going to happen to him. And after all his lies, his betrayals, him snitching, he had to go. And I'm like, I personally I wouldn't have mind seeing him maybe back in like Power Book 2 Ghost. If he if he didn't die, I wouldn't mind seeing him back cuz I felt like he had a lot of more, like a lot more potential and a lot more story to tell. Besides, like, I, yeah, he was a snitch and he was a, he was a bad person, but I don't know. I felt like he could have done a lot more because, you know, seeing how, you know, Tariq is with the Tejada family and Tommy's in Chicago and Richard Tate is Richard Tate, but nobody really known Tariq or been around Tariq like that. And Brayden, he don't, uh, like, I mean, he and uh, I'm saying like I'm saying like like was there there like you know they was there for everything you know actually actually let me know in the comment section down below because this is one thing that actually crossed my mind and I don't think it ever happened. Well, was it okay? Was it ever mentioned off screen that uh, Ghost met Brayden maybe off screen or was it ever mentioned because I know I, on screen we never seen them actually meet but off screen was it ever mentioned let me know let me know because I don't I don't think so I don't think it was ever mentioned off screen and I and I damn sure know he never met him on screen so just let me know let me know now um like as I was saying like you know Dre Dre st would have been interested in Power Book 2 it would have been a lot interesting because you know Maybe Dre and I mean, but then again, he couldn't be trusted. He probably would have betrayed Tariq the the first chance he get. Fuck him, he had to go. <laughs> he had to go. Okay, now number five would be Tariq killing Jabari Reynolds. Please, please, Tariq, you don't have to do this, please. I have a choice, Professor. See, I know people would probably say that this death was it was really un it was important. Um, it wasn't important, I should say. It wasn't important for him to really go. I don't know. I just felt like Jabari Reynolds, he really was getting too personal and, and nosy. And he and he really did draw the short end of the stick because him, he's sitting here writing his book about Tariq. Like, oh, yeah, you know, gangster. This, that, because, you know, when Tariq was writing, I guess, like, this report, I guess, about something. I forgot what the report was. But I guess, I guess it was like maybe even about his life or about something. And then Jabari Reynolds saw this opportunity because I think he was trying to write a book. And then he took the stuff that Tariq was writing and then he put it in his book. And then he followed Tariq and was like, wait a minute, who that? Oh, shit. And then, I mean, he, he really had to go. I don't think there was like any further advancement for his character <laughs> like okay yeah like him and carrie you know there was a thing but there was really nothing no there was really nothing and 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 even if he would have been like oh i'm gonna expose you and uh what's that nigga's name oh zeke yeah if he would have been like oh i'm gonna expose it technically that story would have been set up for like season two anyway so he, he was he was just background noise he wasn't really needed so i mean his death was just yeah it, it was just there now number four would be tommy killing his father now that part of you know tommy basically killing his own father uh well, it didn't need to happen, but, you know, Ghost tricked him. Well, I'm sorry. Didn't trick him, but didn't tell him the, the full story. Hey, yeah, 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 fuck that. Yeah he, yeah, he tricked him and didn't tell him the full story. So, that happened, and then Tommy killed his own father. Now, seeing how Power Book Full Force, I think, damn, Teresi probably would have... I think he probably would have maybe known more about certain things than what we saw him tell Tommy. I think he probably would have... Told Tommy maybe a lot more, maybe. Um, Kate obviously knew, like, stuff that happened. That's why it was really great to see Kate in, um, like, in full force. But I think it would have been more interesting to know more about, like, uh, Tony Teresi. And I feel like I feel like he shouldn't have died. But at the same time, he was going to go snitch. And, well, not on Tommy, but he was going to tell on Ghost. And, oh, I know things. I know things. But he had to go. 
he it was like Tommy was stuck between like his father and Ghost, but I mean, you know, Ghost basically told him a lie, but he had to go anyway because if he didn't kill him, he was gonna tell anyway, so but it was fucked up because Tommy was getting close to him. He, and it was still his dad, so he was getting close to him, but Ghost basically took away the opportunity away. So, I mean, that still goes on the list. Now, number three would be Tasha killing uh, Lakeisha. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, that, I, I felt like that was really, um, that death was kind of like out there because I was like, what the fuck? They was they were so cool ever since like season one. But then again, you can kind of say there could have been like some cracks. You can kind of say like they were yeah because you know she was always jealous of Tasha because Tasha had everything: the penthouse, the jewelry, the shoes. She had everything, and then the only thing she kind of had was okay. She screwed around with Sean. She had Sean for like a little bit. Um. I guess she was basically, I guess, getting Tasha's somewhat leftovers, except for Ghost. That shit would have been interesting, too, if, if Ghost were like, damn, Lakeisha, you look good, man. God, but that that was saved for Tommy, so. But then again, it was like, she kind of got roped into everything. Um, I don't know. Oh, 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 and then basically, you know, her son, and then they had to get home tape, um... Mm, she didn't have to die, though. I don't think she had to die. She could have just left the city. Yeah, I don't think she had to die. But then again, it was... Tasha had to do what she had to do, so I was just like, oh, shit. So, that had to happen. Now, okay, number two... All right, all right, all right. See, number two, I was gonna say... Y'all may, may not like this, but like I said, this was an old list that I wrote up, so... Number two would be Ghost's Death. Ghost's death would be like number two because, you know, shit that happened, Tariq killing Ghost, you know, um, we may not like it. Some of us are moving on past it. Some people be like, nah, fuck this shit. But this basically makes number two because it was just like, yo, you know, Tariq killing Ghost. Um, we was like, he's our guy. He's going to live. He's going to win. But that shit didn't happen. He's dead. So, you know, it is what it is on that. And then finally, number one, um, it has to go to Kanan. I ain't your motherfucking daddy. You don't deserve to be my son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It has to go to Kanan because out of everything that this man did, him, him killing cops, dying like the way he did, and then him killing his son... I have to put him number one because as I made in my previous video and as I said, Kanan did nothing wrong. Ghost betrayed him to get him out the way and, and Kanan was always loyal. We see this in Raising Kanan. Like, he's, he's loyal. So, it's like, you know, he... And then the shit that happened, like I said, he killing his own son. Like, he, he shot his son. I'll never forget that because that shit to me, seeing that shit... And I'm like, oh my God, he doing what? He said, you, you don't deserve to be my son. Pow! I'm like, right, right there to me. I was like, yo, okay, all right, all right. Even though, yes, like, you know, the shit, like I said, the shit that happened with Ghost was, was fucked up. But I think, I mean, both, both of them is really fucked up because father and son, you know, that, that both sides is fucked up. But to me, it's like, uh, Tariq did it because he wanted Ghost gone because of what Ghost told him about Breeze. Kanan did it because, as he said, Sean was weak. And Sean only wanted some some poom poom from, from Tasha. So, that's all he wanted from her. And, and that was pretty much it. But Kanan was a badass and told him directly, like, you, you a bastard. I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> you failed to kill Ghost. So, I was like, you know what? He gets all the praise, and he gets to be number one because it's Kanan. But, um, you know, let me know what you guys think about this list.
because again like i said this was this was like an old list that i did this is an old list that i did but let me know what you guys think about this list like do you agree with this list um do y'all want me to do more of this list and do you want me to do like maybe breakdowns or uh um, yeah yeah like maybe like breakdowns of like certain characters and then make like a list because you know i'm trying something new. i'm trying something new. see what y'all guys like but um like comment subscribe and share and i will catch you all in the next one I want you.